In today's video, I am going to set up this universal wireless charging car mount kit in my car, which is a 2007 vehicle, so it's old. It does not have a stereo system that's got any of those fancy doodads where you can connect to it with a Bluetooth or anything like that. This unit cost me $35 at Costco in February of 2021 in Canada. This is not a sponsored video. This is just a unit that I happen to buy because I want to be able to, I've decided I want to be able to listen to podcasts. So my sons laugh at me about that. I didn't know uh, how to do it. Uh, I can't do it through my the system I have in the vehicle. So I'm going to set this up. And at the end of this video, I'm just going to uh, show you on my phone. I'm going to go through and load the app so that I can listen to podcasts in my vehicle uh, using this system here. Now, my old work, work van, which is even older than my car, doesn't have an auxiliary plug-in in in the stereo. So I'm going to also go quickly through uh, th what I'm going to do in my van. I'm going to use this little Bluetooth speaker and connect to it through my phone and listen to my podcast that way. Let's see what we got in here. There's our dash mount. Oops. Our charger with two ports, which is good. And USB type connection there, the charger wire, and two vent mounts. And that's an instruction, I guess. This is the suction base, so that's the part that'll go down on the dash. And this is the part that you put mount the phone to. And this portion of it is magnetic down here. See that? It's not up above. So you gotta put a metal plate on the back of the phone. I'm just gonna remove this plastic piece there first. So what you do according to the instructions is lay your phone out on the template here. There's other templates underneath that folded that piece of paper down. And then you take the this piece of metal here and you put it on the phone in the area they indicate. So, you can see for this phone, it's right that area. If I have any problems with this phone, I don't know. Uh, obviously, the manufacturers know what they're doing, but uh, magnetic portion here on the phone. <clears throat> I have to assume they know what they're doing. So... I'm going to say that looks about right there according to our template. So this has got adhesive on it. I would say. Alright. And now this little portion of the instructions here show us with the metal plate that we just put on and the case. So I'm gonna put that case back on. And then I'm just gonna see if this will stick to our base. And it does. Now, go set that up in the car. If you want to use the vent mount instead of the dash mount, which I have here, you unscrew this. 
And then we'll put the vent mount attachment in there. This is on our little other little set of instructions there. Put that in there. And then turn it clockwise. Make a bit to move it around a little bit there. Mm -hmm. See, it's got the little lever there to clip it into the vent. And there's another attachment for, I guess, a different type of vent, I suppose. And I'm going to put our dash mount back on here. So this is the lever for the suction base here. See how that sucks in when, when I pull that down. Now, I'm assuming I take this piece of plastic off here. And I'm gonna put it right about oh boy that sticks good right about there and then I'm going to pop that lever down there you go put that there and now I have my charger in my cigarette lighter. You can see the little light on it there. Should have done this a little earlier in the day. The lighting's not so good here. Take my elastic off there. Plug my USB cable in. Now, back up here, and plug this into the, take my phone off, ah. where's that port at, right there, okay, okay, and the LED came on there, came on for a second anyway. See here. So unplug that again to see if we can see our LED come on. There it is. Uh, I think the instructions can't recall if it said that, that stays on while it's charging or not. Anyway, put that there. My charge light comes on on my phone. By the way, if I have any problems with this with this uh, charger at all, I will put it in the comments down at the bottom of the video. If it does any kind of damage, well, if it does any kind of damage to the phone, I won't, you won't be watching that video because I won't upload it. All right, so, now, that's it for that particular unit. Now I'm gonna do the part for the low-tech people, older people like myself where I'm going to play this over my old car stereo. What did I do with my aux cord? Here it is. So, I'm plug my aux cord into my phone there. And 
down here on this car's old stereo system. Turn the radio on. Plug in there. I'm gonna go mode. Oops. There we go. Now, so I've got it set on the aux input, auxiliary. And now, let's get my podcast happening here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And hopefully it's coming out. Bannon's War Room. This is the one I'm listening to. Let's see here. Okay. There we go. And the little play button here. And that's coming out of the speakers in the car. So there you go. This is going to be a real serious problem. France, Australia, for us people with old vehicles. Turn that off. Now, as I mentioned, my old van doesn't even have an auxiliary input on the stereo. So, when I'm listening to my podcast in the van, I'm going to take this little Bluetooth speaker I got, turn it on there. There's a charging port right there. I'll put this up in my on my sun visor or something like that. But anyways, uh, so to use that, I'm going to go to my settings and my connections bluetooth and one device here so you would, i would scan for it so we can see this is bk02 okay so we're connected we see the oop see the little light flash there okay now let's go back to our podcast where was that at there. Our special. I actually so, went to their broadcast center here, which there is, it is minutes away from coming us, out of my Capitol little Hill, in normal times. Bluetooth speaker. Now it's about fifteen or twenty minutes. You got to. You gotta Anyways, if you got old it's, rigs it's like I do, hopefully. Razor Bob on it. I'll turn America. this off. Hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching.
I just listened to the whole podcast of Bannon's War Room. You can see down here it was 48 minutes. So this app worked great. It used to, when I would just get the website up and hit play, like on Rumble, because they put uh, Bannon puts this on Rumble also. But what happened would be it would play about 10 minutes on the phone, and then it would just stop. And when then I would log in, it would it would be like an X, like an error message. So, anyways, this app uh, seems to be working great. Listen, I listened to the whole thing.